Oh, oh. What's up, dude? Um, I was just like, it was just like a pop-up that like just came up, you know, I was just, I was like researching. And then, I, I don't know, man, this just like showed up here, like, you know, I guess like Tony Romo, he's, he's really clutch, right? And like Jimmy Garoppolo, like the backup quarterback in the NFL, he like clearly gave up on his dreams. I mean, yeah, totally, right? I mean, it's not like I was just, you know, I mean, it's not like they're bad looking dudes. It's just, you know, it's not, it's not important. This is every week is hate week. And we're hating on Eastern Illinois. Let me just let me just save this really really quick. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, so we can start now, I guess. I mean, there's some real ugly dudes playing in the NFL, but Tony and Jimmy. I mean, name me two better looking starting quarterbacks from one school. It's like EIU is a factory for pretty boy quarterbacks. You can even throw in Sean Payton and Mike Shanahan. Payton still looks like he's some prepubescent boy, and Shanahan is the worst kind of pretty boy QB, a wannabe who tries to cover up for his lack of facial aesthetics with extended exposure to UV rays, probably in some kind of tanning booth. It's a bad look, Mike. Romo is probably better known for dating Jessica Simpson and marrying a Miss America contestant than anything he's ever done on the field in the playoffs, well except for that whole botched snap thing in 2006. For Jimmy G, people are probably feeling like he got some kind of raw deal for this whole deflate gate deal with Brady coming back, but really he should be happy. Now he's going to get, get paid to do what he does best, hold a clipboard, not throw a pass, and just stand there with those deep brown eyes and winning smile. Wait, what were we talking about? You see, football ain't a pretty game. It's a game for people like Pat Fitzgerald, not Ashton Kutcher. If Jimmy and Tony looked more like Andy Dalton and Brian Hoyer, they'd be winning games. Spend less time in the salon, spend more time practicing, boys. If there's one thing that's certain, good looks doesn't win you football games. Just ask Stanford's Kevin Hogan and Christian McCaffrey. Ugly. That's the way football is meant to be played, and that's the way it's going to be played on Saturday. Hey, Eastern, get ready. Cats are going to knock the pretty right out of you.